A crime has been committed and you're the forensics officer on duty. What are you bringing to the scene? Hi, I'm Constable JM and I'm here at YouthLink Calgary Police Interpretive Center and I'm gonna show you what's inside this important toolkit. Let's take a look. This tray has just about everything we need to dust for fingerprints while at a crime scene. We have our brush here to dust for fingerprints. We also have different colors of powder for different colors of surfaces. So if you've got a white surface, uh, you're obviously gonna be using black powder and a black surface, you'd use white powder. <clears throat> We've also got uh, tape if we need to uh, lift fingerprints and bring it back to uh, the lab if, if we need to, or to the office. Now let's take a look at what else we have in our toolkit here. I also have gloves. Make sure I'm not contaminating my scene. You can also find a mask. Make sure we're not breathing in any of the chemicals or powders. We have glasses, protect our eyes. I've also got a flashlight. You guys all know what a flashlight's for. I've got my camera here. Cameras are great because guess what? Crime scenes don't last forever, but pictures do. Very helpful tool. <clears throat> Next, I've got my police notebook. It's very important at a crime scene to take detailed notes of all your observations, all the evidence that you're seizing, because when you go to court, you can't rely on your memory. You rely on your notebook, good notes. And the last thing I'm gonna show you from my toolkit here are the evidence bags. So if any evidence needs to be taken back to uh, the lab, then we'll do that. And there you have it. There's my toolkit. But as you can see behind me, we've got a bigger toolkit. So CPS is very fortunate to have Big Mac. For all our forensics officers, investigators, it's a state-of-the-art mobile command and lab. Thanks for joining me inside the Crime Lab. If you have any questions, comment below.